All right, hey everyone. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, all right, hey everyone. Welcome to welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. And I think right now we're about to go. Yeah, we're gonna go do another of our DLC things. I think we need to take Win with us. Yeah, we need to bring Win with us. There are some things we need to learn about her. Zevran. Yes. Alistair, okay. Yes. Where are we going? Oh, yeah. Soldier's Peak. And, of course, we're going to get interrupted. Oh, is this the one we're winning? Yes, okay, good. That was me like, when are we gonna get Win's personal quest? Shall we compete? For points. So yeah, this is starting us off on that, so good. Good. It's all going according to schedule. Not actually really though. But whatever. Oh wow, traps. Right there. That one's already been sprung. Who sprung that trap? Alistair, I'm looking at you. Yes. Come on. Come on, or not. Okay. I feel like somebody over there did something strange when I wasn't looking. I just, it's a feeling I just yes. got. You know? Going. Call me paranoid. Yeah, sorry about my voice. I don't know what's up with it. Ooh, fancy. Huh. All right, let's go. Oh no, when? Are you okay? Uh, she got right back up, but... Yeah, you did. Are you okay? For a moment there, I thought I was... I thought it was all over. Well, the fight's over, if that's what you mean. You just fell, no, it's... I thought I was. I... I will explain <sighs> everything when we are back at camp. Now is not the time. Afraid you broke a hip? Oh well, I guess she'll explain that to us later. Oh boy. We still have so much left to do before the lands meet. <laughs> Even though we finished all the main quest are. stuff, like, Soldiers still so much to do. Make us breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, how did you find that path on your own? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. You wandered aimlessly for, like, a week. Just tell me. It came to me in my dreams. Oh. When I was a lad, I tried going through the tunnel by myself. Got horribly lost. But every now and again since, I've dreamt of it. Why didn't you mention this before? I didn't want it you seems to a little bit relevant. Moon-addled simpleton. I've me wits about me, but enough of that. Okay. I'll follow you from a distance. From a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Okay. Soldier's Peak. Looks like it's seen better days. Better centuries, more like. Oh, wow, Alistair. That is just... Unnecessarily cold, but okay. Level, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. What's this? Hmm. Let's do this one. Let's up level up our stealth some. Because several times now I've tried to use stealth in a battle and could not. Okay, what's going on? Okay. I thought it was going to crash. Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the Waltons one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hold up like cowards. We follow the king's advice, then. Starve them out. But the peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. Sounds like you're trying to invade Russia in the winter. What was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm it was weird. Mad, am I? It was weird. You saw it too. It was weird. That's what it was. How is that possible? This place truly What's is going on wanted. with that? The veil is thin here. Soko Tower was like that too. The veil? Yeah, you know, the thing that separates the real world from the fade. Demons? Thank Andraste you came, Warden. <sighs> After you. So I guess the wispy thing right there is just a part of this part of the game. It's just a part of this quest. Because it was there when my friend was playing this part of the game too. And, you know, I, like, looked through everyone and, n like, both her mages. And nobody had spell wisp going, which is what I thought it was for a while, but nope. There's more up ahead. Yeah, I noticed. Anyway, I was talking about um, how much I have left to do, right? Huh. Yeah. <sighs> Lots left to do. I'm thinking that... I'll have at least, like, 20 more episodes worth. This game is so fucking long. This is what, episode 55, maybe? Why does the unnatural always smell so awful? It's rotting, Cora. Hey. Oh wow. Nice Severin. Huh. One never expects creatures like those, really. Wait. Wait, there's a statue here. Ancient history. Hmm. You've uncovered some of the history. 
about Soldier's Peak. There may be more to learn, and perhaps you should seek it out. Okay, I'm looking at the codex, though. There's no extra codex section for premium content. That would make it easier. Okay. Hey there. Ah, it's nice to see old foes joining up arms like together against us. I hope I don't get blood all over me again. If you have sit. Let's yes. grab some glory. Ooh, I swing. Ooh, nice. Antique. Damn it, I want to read more about the ancient history there. Just, oh, you found some of it. Okay, thanks. No, really, though. Maybe this one? Still a lot of Nagat. Nine thirteen dragon. Skirmishes. Darkness. Towers. Towers. I didn't actually read that. <laughs> um. Nope. Okay. But yeah, that's all down here, so... Just move on up. The men's morale is low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. Alistair. more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men! I won't lie to you! The situation is grim. Our forces outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns. Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows. So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men, stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. So brave, even when starving, and my great great grandmother stood with them. King Arland was a tyrant? Not much is known of King Arland. The war of succession that followed his death, now that was a piece of work, lasted nearly a decade and almost burned Denerim and the palace to the ground. Loads of history was lost, but maybe there's answers to that inside. But I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. Okay. No, I mean, I wanted to hear more about that. I need to learn every Dragon Age secret. On these grounds, virtuous men and men stood against a tyrant. 
I mean, pretty clearly there weren't just men. They stood defiant and stood for freedom. And they died. Okay. They stood defiant for freedom and they died. Do you want to end up like them? It was signed by the Grey Warden Defenders who were besieged by Arlen's forces. Let's read the names. Okay, just some names. Names. I'm not reading all that. Good to know, though. There are names there. I guess we can refer back there if we need. And. Demons! Don't you freeze me. Message from Ban Wolf. Arl Ruan and his entire family have been slaughtered, even the children. The Ruan line is no more, and the Arling belongs to the crown. For now, Arlen believed Ruan was plotting on against him. Plotting against him. Ruan criticized the king's spending on Wintersend. That is all. It was an idle word spoken out of turn. The king goes too far. His brain is filled with madness, and he clings to the crown like a drowning man clutches at a straw. Sophia, I beg you, help us. If nothing is done, more will suffer. Your humble servant. Oh, yeah, okay. So this is the um, time that the Grey Wardens led a rebellion against the king. All right. And then they were banished from Ferelden for some hundred years. All right. Yay, Grey Warden history. That's neat. Yep, and they were only brought back by Merrick. Like, yeah, 20 years ago. After the Orlesians were driven out, and... So I guess that's why... Loghain was so paranoid about the Wardens, like, because, you know, we have had a history of trying to overthrow the throne, and I guess, and Arland was of the Theron line, right? Yeah, he would have, because it's totally unbroken since Callan had, and... going and yeah and then we're like talking about how we need to wait for the Orlesians and he's like um fuck Orlesians and I was like well I agree with you there but still don't you think you're going a little too far <laughs> Archivist, what? What? Archivist was a demon. The book is badly burned. You can make out a word here or there, and that's all. Damn. Oh, never mind. Okay, here we go. Oh, won't hold, Archivist. Almost done. The, the truth must be told. Poor sucks. What does it matter? We're dead. A grand rebellion so close, and to die here a, a stillbirth. We never should have done it. Wardens aren't supposed to oppose kings and princes. Yeah, I mean... Should we stand idly by while... 
You are a politically neutral party. Oh. Rebellion? What's this about a rebellion? If only the book weren't burned. I don't know, rebellion, like that that's compromising neutrality. Uh, not just compromising, it's like straight up saying no to neutrality. But maybe there are other records. We can only hope. I wanna find out. Final years of Gasper. All right. I didn't actually read that. <laughs> Just kind of skimmed. Oh, well, I can go back and like pause the video and read it all the way. Whatever. I don't want to like waste time on it. Speaking of time, how long have I been recording? Some games, it'll like actually show the recording software menus and stuff, and like the timer for recording. But, um, not in this one. And that's inconvenient. Quite inconvenient. So, you know, I'm just gonna be safe and call the episode off right now. Hope I'll see you next time when we continue exploring Soldier's Peak. See you then.